Pokemon Red, but every Pokemon is a fire type. You know the drill by now, every Pokemon in the game is now mono fire type, and every move in the game is its regular typing. And at the end of the video, I will be rating how easy this makes Pokemon Red compared to the other types I've done so far in this series. So be sure to stick around for that. All right, let's jump right into it. I pick up Bulbasaur and name it Jalapeno. Now, I'm not going to be using Bulbasaur in this run. I'll actually be picking up my first real team member after Brock. So really, I'm choosing Bulbasaur only to manipulate Rival's team. I didn't want him to have Venusaur because I figured that would be too easy, so Squirtle is out. And I really didn't want him to have a Blastoise instead of a Gyarados, so Charmander is out, leaving Bulbasaur. And I don't normally talk about manipulating Rival's team because I don't normally do this. I just have this sneaking suspicion that this run is going to be pretty easy, and one surefire way of making sure the run is more difficult is just adding in more Gyarados. Okay, so anyways, I make it to Junior Trainer at level 10, and it goes about how you expect, knocking out Diglett, but going down to Shanshru twice. So I head back down to Viridian Forest, train up to level 13, where Jalapeno learns Vine Whip, and we go face Brock. And let's take on Brock, let's just see what happens. Against the Geodude, I'm gonna Leech Seed, just to get some health back from it. And that's good. All right, let's, let's do some Growls, just so we're healing as much as we're taking damage. All right, there we go. All right, so we're at a balance here. Vine Whip does nothing. Let's see what Tackle does. Tackle does even less. All right, so Vine Whip is the play. And one more, okay. Onyx, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna Leech C, we're gonna Growl. It can't knock us out, no. We're too uh, bulky here. All right, cool. We won, easy Brock. I honestly debated on whether to even show that Brock fight. He is such a non-issue with Leech Seed Bulbasaur. Anyways, heading to the east of Pewter City, I skip any trainers that I can since I will be picking up some new Pokemon soon and I make it into Mount Moon. And let's talk about the rules while I catch this Geodude. All right, Geodude's caught. We got, we got our first actual team member in this run every pokemon is of course mono fire type when i catch a pokemon i have to name it something cool like igni i spell that right no items in battle no healing in battle uh oh oh no no tms other than gym leader tms one rule i did forget to mention is that at level 50 the trade evolution pokemon will evolve so if i still have igneous at level 50 it will evolve into golem which is pretty cool i go back to the east of pewter where i fight some more trainers run out of moves already and have to struggle against this metapod and after going back into mount moon and walking around a bit more we find our next team member clefire the clefairy with Clefire at level 10 and Igneous at level 14, we're quite a bit under leveled compared to where we would normally be, so I stick around Mount Moon for a little bit and train. And right now, Clefire's offense is kinda garbage, but that should change once we get Misty's TM for Bubble Beam. On the other hand, Igneous's attack is actually pretty good, and we already have a viable badge boosting move in Defense Curl, boosting Igneous's attack stat with the help of the Boulder Badge. If you're new to badge boosting in Generation 1, there's a great article I recommend reading, linked down in the description below. At this point in the run, you might notice that my team is fairly bulky and on the slower side, which is quite a bit different from the norm of my runs. Typically, I have two glass cannons and have to scramble to find something that can actually take some hits. But the third team member I have planned should fit in nicely with these two and add a bit of balance. At level 16, Igneous learns Rock Throw, which is honestly not a good move at all because I swear it misses more than it hits, but it's our only super effective move at this point. Remember, every Pokemon is mono fire type, so we'll gladly take it. Watch it Oko this Paris. It's so powerful. Now let's actually try it against this hiker and just look at how much damage it's doing. This is such a huge upgrade from Tackle. As long as it hits. After what seemed like an eternity, I finally make it out of Mount Moon and into Cerulean City, and I take on the Swimmer in Misty's Gym just to see where we're at. And I forget that we're weak to water. Bubble is doing quite a bit of chip damage to Clefire. But we beat the Swimmer and the Junior Trainer in Misty's Gym, getting Clefire up to level 18 alongside Igneous. Let's take on Cerulean Rival. Let's lead off with Clefire, because I do want Clefire to have the majority of the experience before taking on Misty. So let's put Pidgeot to sleep. So it can't sand attack us mainly. Um, how much does Double Slap do? I think we're better off probably just using Pound. Let's use a lot of Growls so that if it does wake up, it can't really do anything to us. Uh, that's what we didn't want to see, that sand attack. Okay, let's... Okay, that's, that's thing missed too. Let's swap into Igneous. 
And let's just see if a rock throw can knock it out. Pretty close. Abra split up the experience here. Because Abra can't do anything. <laughs> Alright, Rattata, let's put to sleep. Singa was doing so good early on, too. Of course it would wake up immediately. Get a little badge boost there. Thank you for more badge boosts. Charmander, let's put to sleep. Okay, and pound. All right, rivals down. Easy, easy fight. Blaine Sr. lost to Blaine Jr. I guess Blaine Sr. would be... How's that working? Is Blaine Sr. Blaine's father? And then I'm the grandson? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But enough about the family tree. I go fight the trainers to the north of Cerulean, get Clefire up to level 20 and Igneous up to level 21, learning self-destruct, and we go face Misty. Let's send out Clefire against Staryu and put to sleep, try to knock it out real quick. And then we will send out uh, <laughs> Igneous. All right, Starmie, sing. Please don't knock me out. We got it. Okay, let's see. Self-destruct. Water gun, please don't KO. Oh, crit. Okay, that, that's cheap. That's cheap. All right, we're going to reset. We're going to try that again. Starmie, please, please go to sleep. All right, it's asleep. Did not wake up. Self-destruct. It didn't do near as much as I thought it would. <laughs> oh no, we're in, we're in trouble. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can't fight Misty yet. So, I uh, yeah, I go back up to Cerulean and Kate. Bill gives me this ticket. He found it a dumpster for one free, no expense paid visit to the deck of the SS Anne. And because I'm afraid of Misty right now, we make a beeline to the luxurious cruise ship. In my defense, Misty is the toughest fight of the run so far since her water type moves that already deal a lot of damage are super effective against us. So I think I'm justified in holding off on fighting her for right now. So I head down to the SSN and train up against some of the trainers in there, getting Clefire and Igneous both up to level 23. We catch an Oddish and name it Caps because I can't spell Capsaicin and let's rematch Misty. All right, let's try the same strategy here. Okay, it's sleep. Swap into Igneous. What? Of course you did. All right, let's see if we can take a Bubble Beam. Nope. All right, we have a lot more health for Starmie. Fourth critical Bubble Beam in a row. Okay, we survived. What? One HP. <laughs> Are you serious? Caps won it! <laughs> and with that incredible win, we get Bubble Beam that we teach to Clefire over Double Slap, which is going to be a huge upgrade to the team. We've had an okay move in Rock Throw for a while now, but that accuracy is just so awful. Bubble Beam is much more consistent, a bit stronger, and can lower the speed stat, which is a nice bonus that may or may not come into effect later on spoilers. Fighting some more trainers on the big boat, Igneous levels up to level 25 and evolves into Graveler. And now let's take on SSN Rival. All right, SSN Rival. Let's see if we can just sweep with Bubble Beam. I don't know if we'll be able to. Okay, probably, probably not. But it looks like a lot of stuff will be two hits. <laughs> oh, Raticate was a one hit. Okay. Kadabra will probably tank this. Yeah, two hit. And Charmeleon. No different than a regular run. Goes down to Bubble Beam. Easy enough. We Pokey Center the Sea Sick Captain back to perfect health. He gives us the cut HM because that's a fair trade. We watch him go the wrong way and it's time to take on Lieutenant Surge. Let's see if Lieutenant Surge will be an easy first try as well. <laughs> uh, I meant to go for Rock Throw there, but Tackle works. Because it doesn't miss. Because you should be an easy one shot. And Raichu should be also an easy one shot. As long as we hit. Not even close. Okay. <laughs> I had visions of grandeur. <laughs> should we just go for self-destruct again? 
Bubble beam. Oh no. Okay. I was about to be worried there. Lieutenant Surge may actually win, but not today. I must say Lieutenant Surge almost had me that fight, but we keep our win streak going against him and we're moving on. I'm not going to talk too much on any specifics going through the rock tunnel area. Our team is just looking really good right now with both mains having super effective moves and enough bulk to survive most of the big threats. Getting Igneous and Clefire leveled up in Mount Moon and SSN was a bit of a slog, but it's paying off now that we're two-shotting or even one-shotting some Pokemon. And coming out of Rock Tunnel, let's go ahead and face Lavender Arrival. And should have a fairly easy time at it, to be honest. Let's just see if we can do some rock throws here. The coin flip that is if rock throw hits or not. <laughs> of course, Pidgeotto didn't do anything to us, so oh well. Hypnosis hit before rock throw. You hate to see it. Alright, Gyarados. I forgot about Gyarados. Not gonna lie. Was that two crit hydro pumps in a row? I'm pretty sure it was. It wasn't, but I like to think it was. So we're not looking as good as I thought in the grand scheme of things. Maybe I shouldn't have given our rival Gyarados. Nah, we got this. I just need to come up with some sort of strategy to fight it. And while I'm deciding on that, I go catch a Spearow for Fly and name it Spicy, and let's take on Erica's gym. All right, Erica time. We do resist her grass type moves, so that is nice. Yep, okay, Victory Bell does outspeed and it instantly goes for wrap. It missed with Poison Powder though, so maybe it'll try to go for another status move. Or maybe it'll just keep trying to go for wrap. Okay, it missed. And I missed, of course, okay. All right, it missed another status. Literally one HP. You're kidding, and I missed tackle. Igneous, come on, dude. All right, and then she's just gonna go for rap every single turn from here on out. <sighs> Did you predict me swapping? <laughs> Eric is cheating, dude. <laughs> All right, good, we gotta miss, okay. Um, let's sing on this Tangela because it does out speed. All right, and go for Bubble Beam. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I wasn't expecting that. Metronome? Sure. Let's go for it. Okay, <laughs> okay, we hardened. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let's use uh, let's use rock through here. I don't think we're actually we we might not win. I might get a little too cocky there. No no TMs other than gym leader TMs. Eric is cheating, dude. I I think I got too cocky. Yep yep that that heal. All right, it's all up to you, Caps. Can you do it? <laughs> nope. Okay. Second rematch, second gym leader rematch at least. Well, actually, this would be the fifth or fourth gym leader rematch because he rematched Misty so much. But we're not going to talk about that. What we will talk about is how Erica is super annoying with good AI, constantly going for rap. It's just stupid. Okay, Victory Bell's down. Okay. Tangela will probably be a three hit. Maybe a two hit. Okay. Can we get the speed fall for Vile Plume? We did! Nice! Okay, Erica's down! Easy Erica second try win, and yeah, it was technically cheating that I used Fly against Erica in the first fight, but I mean, come on, it would have been super hype had we won. 
And let's actually talk about that battle real quick. You might have noticed Victory Bell using only rap and status moves. Well, Erica has good AI in Generation 1, meaning she will prioritize moves that are super effective and not use moves that are resisted by my Pokemon. So Victory Bell wasn't going to use Razor Leaf ever. And since two of its other moves are status moves that it won't use if I'm already status affected, that gives it only one move wrap to spam if my Pokemon is poisoned or asleep. So that's some Gen 1 trivia for you today and why that Victory Bell seems so annoying. Anyways, with that win and Clefire and Igneous being slightly higher level now, let's go back to Lavender and rematch Rival. Um, let's... <sighs> That's what I did not want to see. I did not want to see Sand Attack. Especially Sand Attack first turn. We're going to Harden all the way just to get some attack and def well, really mainly attack badge boosts. And let's see if we can sweep, maybe? Gyarados is going to outspeed. And Hydro Pump crits. Third Hydro Pump crit in a row. Okay, good. No crit on that one. Okay, Bubble Beam's gonna be a two hit, and we crit, nice. Uh, Kadabra, we'll just Bubble Beam. And Charmeleon, easy Bubble Beam. All right, Blaine Senior's down. Having beaten Blaine Senior yet again, we clear out Team Rocket from Pokemon Tower, get the Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji, and head down to Fuchsia, where we pick up the Good Rod to catch our next Pokemon this Poliwag, and we name it Firefrog. Grabbing the gold teeth off the ground and claiming the HM for Surf, we head to Saffron because Team Rocket was kind enough to help us with grinding to fight Sylph Rival. That's why they're here, right? Well, we tried training against them for a while, but Firefrog just isn't at a good level to solo some of these fights. And with Igneous and Clefire being so much higher of a level, I really want Firefrog to gain experience by itself. So I head south of Lavender and start fighting these fishermen, and after one fight, Firefro evolves into Poliwhirl. And then after a second fight, Igneous learns Earthquake, and I of course learn it over Rock Throw because I have a newfound hatred for that move. And what an upgrade Earthquake is. I mean, the 100% accuracy is an upgrade in and of itself, let's be real here, but it also hits twice as hard. It's so good. We fight the rest of the fishermen and then head to Cycling Road to battle some of those guys and then head east of Fuchsia to battle some of these guys. I always forget just how much raising up you have to do with a Pokemon you catch with a good rod. I mean, by the time you get it, your team is most likely in the level 30s. And I did some digging around and it looks like the good rod in red and blue can't spawn any Pokemon higher than level 10. So there's a lot of battles and grinding going on right now and that's why. It'll all be worth it in the end though, trust me. Anyways, enough ranting. Firefrog learns Body Slam after fighting this biker, which is a great move, being strong offensively and having a chance to paralyze. It's an easy replacement for Double Slap. And then back in Sylph, Clefire finally learns Defense Curl, and with that being the last move I wanted to learn, I go ahead and evolve it into Clefable. And after all that grinding, the team is around level 38. Let's see if we're high enough level to take on Rivals Gyarados and the rest of his team. We're gonna set up a little bit with Harden. I don't think this Pidgeot knows Sand Attack. Ooh. It does, okay, never mind. Well, we set up once <laughs> and we're already missing. This is great. <laughs> Gyarados, moment of truth. Hydro Pump kind of sucks. Uh, let's go for Hypnosis. Of course it would miss. We're about to lose this Gyarados. Sing. Okay. Okay, now what? <laughs> now what? Um, defense curl. Boost a little bit and double beam. Of course, we're not really boosting. Okay, crit. That's fine. We don't have the special badge boost yet, so we're not really boosting that. Um, let's go for pound here. We might lose. Uh, we might lose. Mirror move? Oh no, not rage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Caps, it's all up to you. Give it a point poison powder. And just start absorbing. Okay, yeah, we lost. <laughs> Okay, let's just train a little bit more. I think we could probably beat Rival at this point, but honestly, sometimes the best strategy is just to level up a little bit. 
So I go do that and get Fire Frog up to level 41 where it learns Amnesia. I'm so hyped for this. It's a move that raises the user's special stat, which is both special attack and special defense in generation one by two stages. This should be enough to make Rival a piece of cake. Might should have saved there, but oh well. YOLO, am I right? All right, go to sleep. Nice, it goes to sleep. Stay asleep. One, two, three. All right, we're fully set up with special. Oops. How much does Water Gun do now? That was a crit. So it should do more than that, yeah. All right, execute. Go for Body Slam. Everything else speeds me now, which kind of sucks. And we're fully paralyzed. Gyarados is going to be a two hit. Please don't crit. Nice. Okay, Gyarados is down. That was really all I was worried about. Everything else should be easy. Three fully paralyzed in a row. <laughs> you love to see it. All right, and Charizard should go down. Mm, okay, okay, Charizard's down. And Self Rival is down. The main thing I was worried about was Gyarados' Hydro Pump, and with Amnesia fully set up, well, you saw how little it was actually doing. With Amnesia, Giovanni ends up being a non-issue. I'm not even going to really showcase this fight. Everything just kind of goes down. And with Self taken care of, let's fight Sabrina. Sabrina time. Let's see if we can just Oko everything with Earthquake. Let's set up a few Harden, why not? Did you just disable Earthquake? <laughs> you son of a gun. <laughs> Still disabled. Hey, there we go. Please don't, okay, Earthquake. Earthquake sweep as long as we outspeed some stuff. Maybe we're not gonna outspeed anything. <laughs> this was an awful idea. Okay, Igneous is down. Uh, <laughs> Clefire. Okay, Bubble Beam's gonna be a two hit, three hit, really bad roll, or a really good first roll. Um, let's put Alakazam to sleep, specifically because of Recover. Please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. Okay. Bubble Beam, what does Bubble Beam do? What were we even worried about? What were we even worried about? Sabrina's down. <laughs> Easy fight. With Sabrina beaten, we head down to Fuchsia to face Koga. And since we're at such a high level for training for self-rival, I only face the two mandatories in this gym before taking on the Ninja Master himself. We could sweep a Fire Frog, but I don't really want to get it too high of a level right now. Uh, let's put up, so uh, let's just bubble beam everything. Easy two hit. I'm thinking everything might be a two hit here. Hey, Muck's going to be a three hit, just because I said something. Coughing's going to be a two hit. And Weezing's going to be a two hit. With a crit. I absolutely predicted that crit. I gotta say, I've been struggling with the callouts this run, but that crit was nice and saved the prediction. And by now you're probably thinking, wow, Sokyo, you've been doing so great with learning moves, not erasing good moves, skipping bad moves, all that good stuff. Well, you've spoken too soon, because in Blaine's gym, I do the unthinkable and skip learning explosion on Igneous. Okay, maybe it's not that big of a deal, but every run must have one of these, and well, there it was. Okay, it's Blaine time. Sweep with Fire Frog. Might as well. Fire Frog hasn't gotten some love in a while. Let's set up with Amnesia. Full Amnesia set up. Nice. And Water Gun everything and just win. Does it work? Okay, no level up. Still no level up, so we still outspeed, nice. Good. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> anticlimactic crit, okay, <laughs> and we won. Continuing the gym sweep, we head to Viridian City where I easily sweep through the trainers, which is kind of funny considering it's a ground type gym and a fire type run, and we take on the last gym leader himself, Giovanni. All right, and we're gonna see another Fire Frog sweep. Oh, just like that. Fire Frog is instantly the best member of, of the party. And Water Gun everything? Do we outspeed? Yes, and one shot, nice. That was the only real threat on his team. 
rest of them should go down pretty easy. Okay, we level up, but I don't think that's really going to affect too much. We still have our special is through the roof, and we outspeed everything pretty easy. All right, and Giovanni's down. Nice. And with the gym sweep done, we're absolutely flying through the game at this point. Let's take on Viridian Rival. We hopefully maybe get some levels up on Igneous because he's falling behind. I really hope we hit level 50 before the Elite Four. Because Igneous at level 50 will evolve into Golem. That's how I played these runs. At level 50, all the trade evolutions evolve. So maybe, maybe it'll evolve, evolve before we hit the Elite Four. All right, we should be able to just sweep through. Unless we level up here because we're badge boosted quite a bit now. And every, everything just goes down to Earthquake. All right, we lost the badge boost just in time to see Gyarados. And it went for Hydro Bump, of course. Okay, that's just how that, that goes. Uh, let's swap into Clefire here, and it's going to outspeed. So do I risk a defense curl, or it missed? I missed two. Okay. Okay, so we can survive two Hydro Pumps unless he crits. I might try for defense curl next time, just to boost special a little bit. All right, Alakazam. Alakazam can heal through Bubble Beam. Ooh, okay. All right, let's test out Amnesia. <laughs> okay, good. It went for it went for Reflect. That's good. Uh, we're probably decent. Uh, how much did Body Slam do? That was a crit. All right, and I think he's down to his last Pokemon. Yep, Charizard. Gonna be a three hit. Let's try for a body slam. All right, we got the para. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Rival before the league is down. That was a little scary, to be honest, but I think once we get a golem, I think it'll be a little bit better. And you know what I completely forgot about? I completely forgot about getting strength. Yeah, I kind of need strength before going into Victory Road, so we fly to Fuchsia, give this old guy his teeth back, and make our way up to Indigo Plateau. And after training a bit in Victory Road and taking out this fiery chicken, Igneous is at level 47, Clefire and Firefrog are both at level 46. Let's take on the League. Lorelei Fight 1. It's a huge level difference. All right, let's damage it a little bit, try to lure out the rest. We did not want to see that. Yeah, that, that attack drop is not what we want to see. It is not resting. All right, Water Gun isn't doing a whole lot of damage. Especially if we crit. All right, Cloister should be a two hit. Yeah. And of course it goes for Clamp. Let's put Slowbro to sleep. Let's put Slowbro to sleep a few times. Please. Please go to sleep and stay asleep. Please go to sleep and stay asleep. Excuse me. <laughs> what? Okay. Igneous. Clefire. <laughs> Let's put it to sleep. All right. It stays asleep. Thank you. It just needed to be sung to. It, it was just feeling a little, a little down about itself. Now it's snapping fine. Uh, okay. Bubble beam. Okay, Bubble Beam's doing a lot. Good. All right, Jinx I'm a little scared of. That did nothing. Thank you, Defense Coral. All right, and let's put Lapras to sleep. Clutch miss? There's no way it survives. No, okay. <laughs> All right, let's reset. All right, so we learned that Hydro Pump still hits really hard, and none of Lorelei's Pokemon like to sleep. So I go ahead and use my Rare Candies now just to see how far off we are from a successful fight. Using those Rare Candies, Igneous evolves into Golem, and Fire Fro learns Hydro Pump. So with those upgrades, let's see what happens. What what could possibly go wrong here? Uh, Body Slam. All right, we got the Paralysis, which is okay. Start using some Amnesia. Okay. All right, it's asleep now. Hydro Pump is a one hit. Nice. Hydro Pump should one hit everything, I think. 
<laughs> Jinx's cry is so long. All right, we got a crit there, so Hydro Pump did not one-shot. All right, level up, unfortunate for defense, but special is, is boosted, and just like that, Lorelei's down. All right, awesome. Uh, against Bruno, let's actually send out Clefire, play off of Bruno's really weak uh, special stat. We have Aether, uh, but I don't want to use him quite yet. Not until we know for sure we're going to be using Fire Frog in a battle. All right, let's go ahead and go for a Sing here. Because Onyx does have Rock Throw. And I'm a little bit worried about that. All right. X Defend, that's fine. Let's get some Defense Curls going. And Bubble Beam. Honestly, I don't even know if we need it to set up. And Machamp. Machamp's not a one hit, but goes down easy enough. And Bruno's down. Nice. All right. So Igneous against Agatha. Igneous is not going to outspeed anything. I'm worried about Nightshade, but let's just see what happens. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if we can if we can hit, Earthquake will one shot everything. Um. I don't think I'm going to outspeed even if I do badge boost. All right, one down. Two down. As long as... Wait, no, not two down. Oh, no. Okay, we may not one-shot everything. Okay, Haunter's going to be a one-shot. If she doesn't actually attack me, we're good. We're great. All right, she just badge boosted me a little bit. Uh, tackle? Okay, that's fine. Uh, first try Agatha, I guess. <laughs> first try Agatha. We, <laughs> we take it. Lance. Lance leads off with the Gyarados. What are we going to do with Lance? <laughs> I didn't think we'd make it this far. Fire Frog, Hypnosis, Amnesia, Amnesia, Amnesia. Hope for the best. <laughs> Let's fight Lance. And did I... I didn't put the right Pokemon out. Oh, no. <laughs> Igneous is going down. Yeah. Igneous survived? Oh, Igneous, we should have used self-destruct. Wait, no. No, yeah, we, we were good there. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Gyarados actually hit that one. Does Fire Frog outspeed here? Fire Frog outspeeds, but does not get the one shot. All right. That's disappointing. That was a crit. <laughs> Please go to sleep. Please. Please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> One defense curl. Two defense curls. We outspeed now. Let's try for bubble beam. That was a crit. That doesn't count. And okay. <laughs> we'll reset. After that loss, I think it's time to reset to pre-rare candy usage and go train a bit. Lorelei is fairly easy as long as I can set up with Amnesia. And Agatha can be incredibly easy, it just depends on what kind of luck we get against her. I'm not even going to talk about Bruno, he's just a piece of cake. However, Gyarados is once again a problem. And unfortunately, unlike with the last rival fight, I can't set up against Lance's first Pokemon to outspeed Gyarados because Gyarados is Lance's first Pokemon. So we go train up a bit in Victory Road and around Cinnabar where I phase through this random junior trainer because we're just going so fast. And after that fight, Igneous evolves into Golem for real this time. I then go find some PP ups for Earthquake and Hydro Pump to give us a little more leeway with those moves. Train the whole team up to an even level 50. I save and use all my rare candies again. And we already know we can beat Lorelei, Bruno and Agatha. So let's just jump straight to Lance. So Gyarados is going to go for Hydro Pump airtime. Every single time Gyarados is going to go for Hydro Pump. So let's say you, we lead off with Fire Frog, Hypnosis and hope for the best. Let's do it. <laughs> what could go wrong? Why is it always Gyarados? Why is Gyarados always the trouble spot in these runs? Please don't crit. Please go to sleep. All right, Gerdus is asleep. One defense curl. We already outspeed. I'm getting greedy here. Uh, bubble beam. That was a crit. How much does not crit do? At least the same amount. Okay, that's Oko. Get Oko this one. We out. We won't outspeed the Aerodactyl anymore. It went for Hyper Beam. We tank it because we use so many defense curls. Nice. All right, bubble beam. Doesn't Oko. Okay. All right, and Dragonite. Let's put it to sleep. 
so it can't get up barriers. Hyper beam. Bubble beam. Go bubble beam! Gonna be a four hit. <laughs> and we did it! Okay, nice. Lance is down. Okay. <laughs> and I think we got this. Now, I could set up on Pidgeot with Fire Frog Amnesia. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up with Fire Frog on it with, uh, against Pidgeot. Let's just full send it. Here we go. Blaine Jr. against Blaine Sr. All right. Uh, let's just go for Amnesia. Oh, no. <laughs> the Pidgeot has used Amnesia. Uh, Hydro Pump keeps missing. Stop missing. All right, Alakazam, we're going to go Body Slam. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Go to sleep. <laughs> we're cheesing it. All right, we outspeed the Alakazam, uh, Bubble Beam. Your psychic can do nothing. All right, we leveled up. That's just wonderful. Uh, <laughs> but at least we have massive defense now. All right, Executor. Uh, Bubble Beam is still probably our best option. I guess we could try for a sing. Of course, it gets the hypnosis right off the bat. Hey, we woke up! Nice. All right. How much does Pound do? Pound doesn't do near enough. All right. And it insta woke up too. Nice crit. Nice crit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> please. Please, for the love of God, go to sleep. Okay. Uh, we have to go for Rubble Beam. We live on three. We got the speed fall. Okay. Does Golem outspeed? Yes. Oh, Gyarados is down. We leveled up. All this left is Charizard. Earthquake. I can't go for self-destruct, but the Earthquake Clutch is in. Yes, we did it. <laughs> Champion is down. That clutch speed drop, dude. And with that, we take down Blaine Senior and we are now the fire type champions. Man, that speed drop on Gyarados was just so clutch. I can't get over that. What a run. It started out pretty slow because how much grinding we had to do just to stay on par with the game. But then after the team got leveled up, we were absolutely sweeping right through on up to the Hydro Pump wall of the Elite Four. We just had to grind a little bit more to get past them, but I'm still taking that into account on the super scientifically accurate difficulty scale where I will be placing the fire type only run. BT... Between, between, <laughs> that was anticlimactic, between grass and ground, closer to grass. Was this a particularly difficult run? Not really, but it was noticeably harder than runs like fighting and dark only where we just kind of breezed through the game with no issues. And to be honest, if we didn't have amnesia hydro pump combo, Gyarados would have been substantially more difficult. But anyways, thank you for watching. Getting back into the other series I have going on. Next up is Pokemon Red, but every move is Psychic type. So be on the lookout for that. Be sure to go follow me on Twitch and Twitter, X, whatever it is this week, so you get notifications on when I'm streaming because I do record these live. Subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on the next video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching. I will see you guys next time.